All right. Let's uh, let's get this computer part. I'm going to show you how to disassemble a Dell Inspiron 5567 uh, just to get to the battery. I have a sneaking suspicion the battery on this is expanded. Uh, two reasons: one, not holding a charge at all; two, I'm having a very hard time depressing the mouse pad left and right click. So we're going to get it apart. We're going to take a look. All right. So first off, on the bottom, you're going to see how many screws we got here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And there might be some more underneath this. So let's start there. These are all just, yep, there's a few more underneath here. And these are all just standard Phillips heads. Um, with these smaller ones, I recommend having like a precision style toolkit like uh, I fix it cells they have some nice small tips because the heads of these screws are extremely extremely fine and if you're round them out you're never getting the computer apart so let's go ahead and get these out and just like what I like doing as far as organization for this kind of stuff is any of the screws that come out with a component so these two screws held in this and then these are underneath it that way you keep them all together and you kind of know where they're going to go. All right, let's take a second, get the rest of these out. Um, another kind of interesting thing, as you're taking the screws out, if you notice that all the screws are the same length, then keeping them separated really isn't that big of a deal. But if you take out two different screws from two different places on the laptop and they are two different lengths, you got to make sure that you keep those completely separated and you keep you like you basically set the screws up in such a way that uh, you know exactly where it goes back in. So this is kind of what I do in that situation. I will create like a little grid structure where I can see where each of the individual screws are coming from. So I can just at a, at a glance say, yeah, that screw goes there, that screw goes there. And try your best not to knock them over. I do that all the time. Like I won't be paying attention, I'll just knock them over and then I have to guess where the screws go. Um, the other option would be you could do something like if you have access to a 3D printer, you can 3D print a screw holder. Um, you can purchase a screw holder. Uh, there's a lot of different options if you want to keep it safe. And should be the last screw. All right, now we're going to flip this over and we'll look at the keyboard. Um, there are times on some laptops where the keyboard will be a separate component from the actual palm rest, and you have to take that out. But it doesn't it doesn't look like it is so. Now what you're going to do is you want to get something that's like relatively thin and flat and there is a seam where the black plastic meets the silver plastic. You want to try and put a little bit of leverage on the corner of the laptop and then just get a tool worked in there and then just pop the clips one at a time and, and it's basically slide the laptop apart at that point while being as careful as you can not to hit any of the components inside because that'll end up doing quite a bit of damage. So you want to try and keep the, the tool as vertical as possible while just separating out the clips. Okay. And then you're going to get to a certain point where it's just going to want to start to come apart all on its own. Oh, and make sure you remove anything like USB receivers before you get started. There we go. And then always double check sometimes there will be screws underneath the foot pads but in this situation there's not the computer just does not want to let this go there you go yeah and we have a little bit of a bulge going on with the battery here it's actively separating so let me call this gentleman up real quick um and see if he wants to replace the battery in here and then we will proceed from there all right so to finish removing the battery, 
we will, we're gonna take off this nice little plate here and these screws we will 100% keep separate. That way they don't get mixed in with the screws from the outside of the case. So we'll take this metal plate off, we know where it goes. Now in this situation we are going to need to remove some of these some of these little uh, flat connectors, cable, these ribbon cables. Um, and as a note, um, one of my uh, chat members very, very intelligently mentioned, if you're not familiar with taking computer apart, always try and use plastic tools as uh, pry tools or as separators. It, you reduce the risk of physically damaging it because like a lot of times like this, this tool is designed to break before the object that you're working on. So, all right, so once we have these two, these two uh, ribbon cables that are over the top disconnected, I'm gonna go ahead and take the screws out for the battery. It looks like there's gonna be three of them or just two. Actually, it looks like it's just held in by one. That's crazy. Yeah, and then we will disconnect that. We'll take that, we're gonna dispose of that properly. We will disconnect this cable from the motherboard. Take the new battery. Sometimes your battery will come with the cable, will come with this cable. Sometimes it will not, but you want to connect this cable to the battery before you install it. That way you're not dealing with like a, a connection that's shorting. Uh, as a quick note, this corner of the hard drive holder needs to be on top of the black plastic for the battery. So when you go to put it back in, make sure you put that back in in the correct order. We'll do that. Now we will, if you have trouble getting around the uh, cable that's here for the, the DVD-ROM, then you can just pull this, this connector straight up. Very gently, get the corners connector, the white connector comes up and then this just lifts straight out and then over. And then we can line this guy up. And now that cable is installed. Make sure it's in there all the way. You don't want to create a little spark, start a fire. And then this cable, make sure the connector, the latch is fully up. Drop this cable in vertically. Get make sure it's all the way down and then just push that down. And now that's connected back up again. We had the single screw. Now we're going to take this plate. We're going to put this plate back in here, which lines up here. And you can see this plate already sits much better on here. And then we basically, we're going to go through and we're going to do everything in reverse now. Take the, these two screws that we had, put these back in here, make sure they're nice and tight. One other quick note while you have the laptop open, just as a, as a note, these, the hinges have a tendency to rip. Just make sure that the screws that are in them are tight. You don't want to put a lot of torque on them. Just put the screw, basically race, rest your screwdriver in the screw. Just give it a, a, a minor turn, see if it turns, because you want to keep those tight. There's a lot of uh, torque and leverage put on there. Now next, we're going to reconnect these flat ribbon cables. Get them back in there. Make sure that the black line, which here I'll show you. When you're reinserting these connectors, I am tangled. We will. When you're reinserting these connectors, the connectors have a nice little black line on them that you can see there. That black line, let me go, ooh, just popped off. So the black line that is on the cable needs to sit all the way in. It needs to line up with this. So you want to basically try and make it so that when this clip is laid down, you have a white, the white and black create a solid line. Some laptops are a little bit different in that regard, but for the most part, you're either going to have a paint line you need to line up with, or the cable itself has to go far enough into the actual connector so that line sits even with the top of the connector. That's going to give me a little bit of trouble here. Let me get this out of the way. And there you go, up and over. And like this one, you'll see that black line. Let me turn the microscope back on. That black line on there 
We gotta go this way. It's the motherboard. So right there, you'll see that this black line actually sits parallel with the actual connector so that when you put flip this down, it's completely hidden. All right, then after that, we're gonna take the bottom of the laptop, flip it back on. I like doing this with the uh, bottom, with the laptop opened up so that it's easier to actually click in on the sides. You wanna kind of do it in the same order you, you took it apart in. So start at the back and then just work your way forward, clicking through each of the individual corners. Like, don't worry if you don't get it all the way in before you start putting screws in, the screws will actually pull the laptop back together partially. So there we go, looks like we're all ready. Now let's get these screws back in. And then the way I took this apart I was like this. So we'll rotate that back around and we'll do this again in the reverse order. That screw. That screw. And then as you're screwing these in, just make sure you're pushing down on the edges just a little bit, but never on the actual screen. Don't ever put pressure on like this because the screen is underneath there. You don't want to do it. Back here, if you push, you're pushing on the hinges. And that's generally fine. There's some situations where it, where it is not. But what you can do is you can just open this up, just give it a good squeeze, and never push directly down on the screen. That'd be terrible you'll end up needing a much larger repair if that's the case. All right. That. And as a note, do not over tighten these screws. Just screw them in until, so you screw until your screwdriver stops spinning and then you should be good to go. You don't want to over tighten it. You'll rip out the little standoffs that the screws screw into. And then you'll be in a lot more trouble. The computer won't stay together anymore. Now we replace this, the three screws that were underneath the DVD-ROM. Oh, that one did not thread properly. There we go. Take the two screws from the top, set them off to the side. Slide this back in. Should be pretty, uh, pretty easy to click that back in. And then we have two more screws. One... Two. And now, flip your computer over. The battery does not have any charge in it, so let's get it plugged in, and then you are good to go. And that is how you replace the battery in your Dell Inspiron 5567. Hey, thanks for watching that video. Uh, you can check out some of the other videos for more tech-related content. And if you want to catch me live, I am on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance, Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so come hang out, chat, and maybe learn a thing or two. Thanks for watching.